Hi, I'm Paul Revlin, the president of RevGear, and I'm here to talk to you today about the difference between lace-up gloves and hook and loop, or Velcro closing gloves. So, obviously, many, many years ago, before there was hook and loop, every boxing glove was just simply a lace boxing glove. And to this day, though, there are still many gloves that are lace boxing gloves that exist, even though there's new technology out there. In this case, this is uh, the S4 boxing glove that we sell. It's a very popular lace boxing glove. And the people who use it um, prefer the way it fits and, the, and, and how tight you can make it. With a lace boxing glove, you can actually pull these things really tight. And um, it really gives you a snug fit, which feels good on your hand when you go to hit something. So as a result, a lot of people uh, like to use a lace glove, except they're very cumbersome, right? Because you can put on one glove, uh, pull it really tight, and uh, wrap the laces and, and tie it, but then what are you going to do with the other hand? Um, you obviously need to have someone there who can help put the other glove on you and pull that tight and tie it. And so usually it helps to have someone else there pulling as tight as they can to make it tight, tight, tight enough for you. So as a result, lace boxing gloves became very cumbersome. And these days there's many different gloves that have a similar type of protection, but also have a hook and loop or Velcro contraption. So in this case, this is our uh, S3 glove or Sentinel S3, and it's also a very popular glove. Um, but as you can tell, it just has a Velcro wrist wrap. And um, out of all of our gloves here, the majority of them have a uh, hook and loop wrist wrap because that's just more common. You can, you can put on one glove, and then you can slide on the other, and you can manage to um, uh, adhere the hook and loop with your other hand, even if your, your hand is in a glove. So it simply became a matter of convenience. Most people who want a really tighter fit, professionals, people who train very, very, very seriously will often opt for a lace glove when they can, um, but will still use a Velcro glove um, at different times in their training. And, uh, but overwhelmingly, the, the amount of different glove styles that are available all in hook and loop or Velcro style are um, uh, much more common and you'll often find that. But it's just really a matter of personal preference and I recommend lace gloves if you can pull it off. If not, then a, gra a great pair of Velcro gloves will work just great.